Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Notepad++ with the .sqf XML. Um, uh, as you can see, I have the original Notepad to our right and the Notepad++ to our left. Believe it or not, this is the same file. And you can see the advantages of having Notepad++. So, I'm going to uninstall Notepad++ from my computer and run you through the installation. So, the first thing you want to do is click the links below and download this. Um, this is the .sqf add-on for Notepad++ by Nicholas and Gossamer Solid and Sanjo. So, you just scroll down, click Notepad++ and click the other link below the video which will take you to this page and all you want to do is click Notepad++ Installer so after you've installed, downloaded these apps you want to go to your downloads extract the extraction and you'll get this out and the installer would look like this So I'm just going to install Notepad++. Okay, so I've, in, I've installed Notepad++. So what we want to do is open Notepad. So, like so. And then click on language at the top. Define your language. Import. Now you want to browse to your downloads to where you extracted the .sqf, uh, the, this folder, go inside this folder, syntax highlighting, and just select .sqf XML document. Click open, and you get a message saying import was successful. So after you've done this, close notepad, browse to where you installed Notepad, in my case it's Program Files, Notepad++, open this, and then click Plugins, and then APIs, and go back to your downloads, open the, f the folder, and then go to Auto Completion, and copy the .sqf file from there into the Plugins APIs folder in the Notepad. Um, install directory. After you've done that, simply open Notepad++ plus plus again, click on Settings, Preferences, Auto Completion, enable Auto Completion on each input, on Function Completion, click Close, and that's it, Notepad plus plus it's now installed with .sqf so if we go to our missions we can right click on our .sqf uh, files and instead of clicking open we can click edit with notepad plus plus and you'll see that the global variables and um, local variables are different colors which makes it much easier to disti dis distinguish the variables from each other also commands are a different font, so east and west are commands in Armour. And green is basically a string format. If I make a mistake in the string format somewhere, you'll see it will change the entire script into a string, which makes it clear that you've made a mistake. Very useful. So I hope you find this video useful. Uh, make sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. and. Oh, see you next time.